What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. I am Jordan. Ethan is over there underneath the car and in today's video we are working on getting everything transferred from the old engine over to this one so we can get ready to toss it back into the car. So if you didn't watch the last video as you can see we have everything set up here. Timing cover is back on, valve cover is back on. We have the timing set on this vehicle but if you see in here it's a little bit dark but Ethan is grabbing off the alternator right now. He's also going to grab the AC condenser and bring it over here. No. Sorry, shut up. <laughs> if you see underneath here, Ethan's working on getting the alternator off as well as the AC compressor. And we'll be putting that over onto the new engine. Down here, we already have the bracket on here that's going to hold those two together. That was already on this engine, so we didn't have to transfer that over. And then we'll get the water pump in, and you'll probably see us take the trans off and get ready to get this thing into the engine bay. Back out here in the garage just the next day, we, as you can see, we have the alternator and the AC compressor on the new engine. What we're working on right now is getting all of the other accessories on here. As you can see, we need to get the oil cooler on here. We need to get the water pump put in here. We also have some other accessories that need to go onto this engine. And we're gonna start doing that right now. Nate just went by Ford and picked up some of his gaskets that he needed, so he's transferring stuff over. I'm gonna hop underneath the car right now and take off the oil cooler and some other miscellaneous stuff to get it over onto this engine. I don't know if you can see this, but I accidentally broke off the corner of the water pump when trying to remove it. There used to be a little tab there and it's no longer in that spot. Thankfully, the new engine that we got came with another water pump, but the gasket on this one was pretty cruddy. So we went to the Ford dealership and picked up a new one. So I'm gonna get this onto the old water pump, the new to us, old to them, but not to us. Well, this is gonna go on the water pump, we're gonna get it in the engine. off of the stock engine I accidentally broke this I didn't realize it until I started to put it back onto the car that this broke off inside of the coolant line so we had to go get a new one of those from Ford which is right yeah so we'll get this on there everything else right now is on we have some of our coolant lines our oil return lines alternator compressor water pump we have to wait on the oil cooler because like an idiot, I forgot to tell Ethan to order a new one of these gaskets, but that's not gonna stop us from putting the engine in. On this side, as you can see, Ethan is getting the transmission off of the engine. And then over here, he's gonna have to get the starter off. Once that stuff is off, we can start getting ready to put that onto the new engine. Yep. I ordered a new clutch from, it was Exeti. I believe it was an Exeti clutch that we ordered. It's to the stock specification, so we're not trying to push crazy horsepower out of here like we've said before. That is coming to us. It should be here, I think, tomorrow. And uh, once that's done, I think we might be ready for our first start. flywheel all of the accessories on the side minus the starter and then up front belts are all on got all the spark plugs back inside and all the caps on and i was taking off these studs as you can see on the end here if it'll focus 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 if you look here at the end it's like a star on there i don't know exactly what these are called you guys can tell me in the comments but i do have the tool to take these off and this one and its little brother right next door came off. However, these ones just completely snapped off when I tried to put the vice grips on them and it just smoothed it out all kinds of nice and clean. So now we gotta get those two top studs out before we can finish this job. So with the old clutch here, we don't know how long it was on the car. It doesn't seem like it was in bad condition. 
The clutch that we ordered apparently is in back order and that's gonna delay us getting this put in. We could go grab another one or order another one, but we kinda wanna get this in. So Ethan has made the call to go ahead and put the old clutch onto this engine so we can get it back in, correct? Yeah. You guys heard it here. That way in case he says anything to me later, we all kind of know whose idea it was. No, no. It, it's already recording. Yeah, but I want it. Just flipped it. No, I can't, because if I flip it, it looks like the engine's on its side. What? Yeah, I'm the YouTuber here. You gotta, it's gotta go down here so we can see it. There you go. So as we can see with this luck clutch, this basically sits right inside of the flywheel, so it's fairly well centered. So what I'm gonna do is just put this socket in here to kind of keep it even more centered. So then Ethan can go ahead and put the pressure plate over this and start bolting it down. Okay, so now I just need to pick it up and move it forward, I think. Man. Here is the engine fully assembled, kind of. We're still missing a couple things. Uh, we have some gaskets that are gonna be showing up tomorrow. Trans is back on, still need to torque it down though. And then back here, we still need to get these studs out. Nate is gonna run over to AutoZone, grab a extractor bit and some stuff over there so we can get these out and get the new studs in. And then we'll slide the engine into place after torquing down uh, the trans bolts and start putting her back in, right? All right, hey, hey, can you calm down with the excitement? All right, we don't want to overload the fans. Wait, does this look cool? Is that cool? I had it dumping you, maybe. <laughs> we have the engine back in the bay, but now we got to get it up. But not really sure how we're going to do that outside of going and getting ourselves an engine hoist. It was a lot easier to get that down onto the ground than what it's going to be to get it off of the ground and into position. We do have access to an engine hoist. We just got to go and pick it up, but uh, that'll be another day. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss anything else that we got coming up. And so that you get it the minute it drops, make sure to hit that bell notification. Until the next one, peace.